Milk. It's what's for breakfast. Love. Conversation with Sarah just now. Where's Sam? With dad. Oh, okay, okay. Where's dad? Why Sam? Really? <laughs> so check this out, guys. I'm standing on the back of the pickup with this ladder extended That's as amazing. high as it'll go because I've got to clean this sucker out. I don't know if we've ever talked about this on the channel before. This is an owl box that I installed the year we moved in. Are you okay? I'm going that way. Okay, you can get on that side. Will you get on this side? Because you're braver than she is. <clears throat> Be very careful. Why? I don't want you to fall and get hurt. Oh, that. Yeah. What do you think? Is it, does it feel safe? Yeah? I've already climbed up there and it's secure. Safe. You be very careful. I will. And both of these kids are used to climbing ladders. Yay! I'm on to three steps! But, okay, don't go any higher. Yeah, or... just... Because I can see. It's pretty, huh? You can see Look very far. Truck. Yep. I can see it. Just the top and... Yeah. So I, this this is an owl box we installed the well, the first week we moved in. I uh, see the roof and of it I'm trying to think inside back. It, this anyway, this is on a 16 foot I think it's four by four. I found the plans for this owl box on a university's website. Can't remember which one. And they had done this owl study for barn owls. Anyway, I we had such an infestation shower, of voles in the shadow. area yeah shadow. our shadow yeah. that i wanted to attract a barn owl because barn owls uh i know they're around in this area prominently and uh they will eat thousands of these things over short periods of time and they if i could get one to to build a nest here then that would help and it did it worked they that first year we had one take make its home here and we've had several over the years. But <clears throat> I noticed today as I was flying the drone with Sam that the, the roof of this thing, which I have built a hinge onto, was open. The wind must have gone in, blown it open, and the latch that I made must not have secured it enough. So we're gonna get in, and I noticed how dirty it was. We're gonna get in, clean it all out. Nobody's taking up residence right now, so it's a good time. But how are you fitting there? <laughs> I'm going to reach in and clean it out. Oh, with your arm? Yeah. With your hand? Uh, I, have a, I have a door on this end that we can open and scoop it out that way or out the top as well. So. Or at the bottom. I'm going to see if I can get a picture of what it looks like inside. So this is the hole. It's about a four inch Whoa. hole. Dad, look, I'm standing. All the measurements, you can see all the crap in there so it's full of stuff about this high of bedding that they've built up over the years i can see a pelt in there from an owl and different birds have also taken up residence the owls won't um stay in here forever we'll move on but oh this is precarious okay see scratch marks when they try and get in and out. You gonna go up higher? Whoa, you're up high. Yeah. You wanna get down? Yeah, but I'm scared. Grab my arm. Here. Grab onto my hand and my arm. I'm gonna drop you down. Nope. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lift you down slowly. Hold on with both hands. No, no, Hold on to my wrist down. right here. I won't drop you. Hold on tight. It's like an elevator for you. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna get down? You gonna stay up there? Okay. If you're gonna stay up there, I gotta go get my stuff. I think you're just safe, but. Okay. Sam's Sam's my worry work. 
worries about safety. It's a good thing. Okay. You got the drone? Yep. I'm grabbing the a drill. See, I need the special drill bit though. Let's see, I think that's it. You know, I spend all day, every day through the week in an office, working behind a computer, away from home, the kids and everybody. And then I come home, I'm home on the weekends, which is great, and I'm thankful for, and I love it. I love being able to come home and spend time with these kids. And yeah, I could get a lot more done without them, but it's just enjoyable to see them growing up, to spend time with them, to work with my hands, to teach them things. I love it and I'm grateful that I can do this. I am very blessed. Actually, I'm gonna try and get a good drone shot. This is gonna be challenging. I want the drone to circle around me while I'm up there cleaning out the box. And I've messed around with this drone a little bit and I know that it can do that. But I can have it track a target and circle while tracking. But I've never, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if this works. I think it'd be a cool shot if it does work. There was more in there than I realized. When I get down, I'll take a look at it. But check it out now. Nice and clean. For the most part, good enough. Get all that old stuff out. Let uh, the birds start making some new, putting some new stuff in there. Okay, I'm gonna need that drill now, bud. Okay. Website that I went to, let's get a stick. Said about owls is they'll, the base of their nest will be pelts. And there's a lot of them. They kind of decompose. I mean, it's been four years or so Daddy, look. since I built this. Daddy, look. Look, Dad. I should have cleaned it out once a year. Dad, look. Yeah, let's open it up. Get off. That's gross. I'm Thanks for helping. Control by glittering. I never thought they would let me in. A fading light, a distant call. The devil will never be welcome here at all. The sky is gray, I guess that's what it takes To feel a little lonely is a stay Do you feel our love is the only thing that is real? It's like a heart with nothing to conceal Nothing more So here's another problem that I'm more dealing with. I want to get opinions. So I've got a, been asked to fix this. It's our paper towel holder in the bathroom. Uh, obviously pulled through the drywall there. These were what were holding it in. And my thought was, well, let's take the opportunity to do something cool in here. And Trish would like to change things up. She wants her house to look a little more rustic inside. And so my thinking is, and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not sure if this is a great idea or not. I don't know. Here's my problem. What I want to do is create 
with a piece of rough cut lumber, maybe a two by six or so, probably two by six, run a floating shelf right here, cut it off to about right there, just a floating shelf from that corner over and have the paper towel hanger hanging below that. Um, what I'm trying to do is change the way this is mounted because it's mounted through drywall there and that's not obviously strong enough to hold it and I don't want to keep patching it up and jerry-rigging it. So if I can get a two by piece of lumber there that I can secure to the wall through the studs and then hang that toilet paper thing from under it. My concern is this, would this piece of rough cut lumber stand out and look awkward in this bathroom. I guess I can show you what it looks like now. We've got, you know, there's the light fixtures and the style and, the, and how it feels and everything, you know, the shower, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Would it stand out too much to have this rough cut piece of lumber? Maybe stained, maybe not, I don't even know. Right there in the midst of the rest of the decor that's in here. I think it might stand out too much and so I'm hesitant to do that but there's part of me that doesn't care and there's part of me well you got to start somewhere I can't afford to just change the whole look of the whole house all at once and maybe it wouldn't look funny so I'm asking for opinions anybody out there what do you think would it stand out would it look funny let me know in the comments below <laughs>